So I made this geometry nodes group that what it does is it takes a bunch of particles and moves around a certain letter or spline. So here you can see the letter A and I can tra transition it to the letter B, um, etc. And it's actually a very simple node group. You can see it's only like 15 nodes. So let me show you how to make this thing. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with an object, doesn't matter if it's a cube, a plane, whatever, because we're just making it a geonodes group and deleting the inputs. What I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to make a bunch of particles in the form of a grid. So I'm gonna have a two by two grid consisting of 150 by 150 points. And you can think of each of these points as a particle. Uh, even better is if we take this geometry and we delete the edges and faces, you can see now it's literally composed of a bunch of points, okay? So we have our points, and uh, second of all, what we need is we need our spline. So I'm gonna use a string to curve node, so, or you could just use a circle or whatever, uh, but I'm gonna use the letter A, making sure it's centered, and we wanna take this and turn it into a curve. So we need to realize this instance, so now it's actual geometry. I'm gonna resample the curve so that it has more points, so let's say a thousand, so now it's nice and sharp. And then finally, I'm gonna convert this into a mesh so we can evaluate how close this is. Uh, to actually do this calculation, what it's going to do is each point, it's gonna look at its closest neighbor on the letter A. And based on that vector, it's going to then rotate it by 90 degrees and move tangent to it. So it's kind of like in orbit, like satellites around a planet. So it's gonna find the tangent vector uh, dependent on its position. So using simulation nodes, I am using a Blender 3.5, use a version that has simulation nodes. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring this, as, bring this in as an input. So right now, if we run the simulation, we have points doing nothing, but what we can do is we can set their position. In other words, each frame modify their position by, first of all, finding the closest vector or the closest point. So it's gonna use geometry proximity, find the closest point, and the vector is going to be this point minus its ori original position, which will create this vector. Bit confusing, I know, but we'll uh, explain it in a second. So take the proximity position, uh, which is the closest point on the letter, its nearest neighbor, and subtract away its initial position. So this gives us the vector that points towards the letter. And then we're gonna take that. I guess we could also normalize it so it doesn't matter how far away it is. Um, but take that vector and rotate it by 90 degrees, okay? And then finally, take this rotated vector and I'm just gonna make it very tiny. I'm just gonna scale it by 0.02. This is gonna be the offset. So now if we look at this, you can see it's actually running the simulation very well. Each point is, again, looking at its closest neighbor and then moving, rotating by 90 degrees so it stays um, in orbit around it. And at any point, and by the way, the smaller we make this uh, value, the more stable this simulation is going to be. But at any point, we can change the letter and it's going to uh, do this uh, correctly. Uh, notice that the rotation on the inside of the letter versus the outside is flipped. This is because the vector, instead of going inwards, uh, is going like outwards. So the rotating by 90 degrees flips it. Um, and just a cool little thing that I found is if you take this and increase it anything about not above 90, like 95, it's gonna eventually go out of orbit and it's gonna go further and further away the way you'd expect. Uh, but if its escape velocity is too low and it goes at 85 degrees, it's going to collapse into the letter. And that really outlines it. So 90 degrees is the perfect tangent uh, kind of thing. So you take this, you add a bunch of points, and that will create uh, your animation. Hopefully you learned something. I thought this was cool.